Okay, the moment of truth has come. It's time to give your presentation that you worked so hard on to put together in front of a live audience. All these staring eyes, kind of spooky. I'd rather eat cheese. In any case, to go ahead and give this presentation, I'm going to show you how you can start it, navigate through it, and then have a bunch of shortcuts that I think you'll find very beneficial when it comes to giving your presentation. So to get started, just come up here and click on the Slideshow tab. Go to the Start Slideshow group and either start from the beginning, slide one, and you can see when I hover over it, the shortcut key is F5, or come over here and start from the current slide. So if I'm on slide three, click on that or hit the shortcut keys, Shift F5. Let's go ahead and do it from the beginning. Starts the slideshow here. So we see nothing but slide one. And then to advance to the next slide, there's quite a few ways you can do it. You can either left click on the mouse button to advance to the next slide and click and keep doing it that way, or you can use keys on the keyboard, like the right arrow key advances one, the left arrow key goes back, the page down key advances one, page up goes back, the space bar advances one, and the P for previous goes back, and the letter N is in Nancy, we'll go to the next slide, and then again it's P for previous, it'll take us back. Let's see, other navigation options here. If you want to go ahead and jump to a slide, like slide 8, then just go ahead and type in the number 8 on the keyboard, and hit enter, and it takes you right to it. And if you want to jump back to slide one, well, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can either type in one and hit enter, of course. Let me type in eight and hit enter to go back to eight. Or you can hold down both mouse buttons at the same time, both left and right. Hold them down for about two seconds, and then it'll take you back to uh, the first slide. Now, if you're operating blindly here, somebody gave you the presentation, and you're like, I think our audience wants to jump right to a certain topic, and I'm not sure what slide number that is. Instead of just hitting a number and guessing and hitting enter on the keyboard, what you can do is you can bring up a list of all those titles of those slides by holding down the control key and hitting the letter S. And there you go. A list of all the slide titles. And then go, oh, okay. We don't need to cover all this. We just need to go about the uh, income. This presentation is for our investors. Go ahead and select it. Click on go to. It takes you right to it. Cool. Okay, let me go ahead and hit the escape key because I want to show you some other options that you may want to consider. Let me go ahead and come over here in the navigation pane and scroll up all the way to the top. And if you recall in an earlier training video, we talked about hidden slides like, let's go ahead and select slide number two, right click on it and make it hidden, hide it. And you can see it's faded there. And also it's got a line through the number. That means that that slide will not pull up in the presentation. So when I go from slide one, it takes me down to unique paranormal research. I think that says research. Let me click on it. There you go. In any case, Select one here, and let's go ahead or just come up here and save from beginning. Then when I click on the mouse button, it bypasses that hidden slide, goes to slide three. Now, if during the presentation, let me hit the escape key and go back to slide one, I'm like, oh fudge. These guys really want to um, see the slide that I have about our website, but it's hidden. How do I go ahead and advance to it? Well, let me go ahead and save from beginning. Just hit the letter H on the keyboard, and it will reveal the next hidden slide. It can't be the third or fourth or fifth hidden slide. It has to be the next slide that you're advancing to that's hidden. So hit the letter H, advances to the next hidden slide. Not the one that's next hidden like five slides away, but the very next one after, in this case, the first one, okay? Go ahead and hit the escape key. Also, let me uh, right click and deselect hide slide. As you recall in the adding sections or grouping your slides into sections, all you have to do is go ahead and right click come down here in the shortcut menu, add a section, and then of course, as you recall in that training video on sections, we can rename them by right-clicking and saying, this is going to be the ghastly revenue section that we've done, or whatever you want to name it, rename it. In any case, when you're in your PowerPoint presentation, the slideshow, let's do it from beginning, and you want to go ahead and advance to a slide, or as we just saw a section, then go ahead and give it a right-click anywhere, and go down to either a slide, so you don't have to hit Control s it brings up a list of them here, the title of the slides, and then we can go ahead and say Unique Paranormal Research, or right-click, and if you know the section you want to cover because you're like, oh, well, wait a second, we're already in Ghastly Revenue section, let's go back to the default section or the home section and re-emphasize because I don't think this audience is getting it, you know, if you run into that issue, go ahead and select that, it takes you to that section, and have it done very uh, professionally and not go, hold on just a second, let me hit the escape key, let me count down a bunch of slides and select this one. Let's see. No, that's not it. Come down. Well, you get the idea. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and do it from beginning again. Or I could have hit the F5 key on the keyboard. If you want to know a little bit more about where I get all these shortcuts here, then just hit the F1 key on the keyboard and it pulls up. It only does this when you're in the slideshow. It doesn't do it in the design view. 
You can see the general shortcut keys, the rehearse and record shortcut keys when you're in the presentation mode or the slideshow uh, for media, and also ink to change the uh, pointer to the pen. Hey, which brings up a good point. Let me go ahead and click okie dokie. If you want to bring up a pen where you can go ahead and circle like some text, you know, place emphasis by drawing on the screen here, just go ahead and give it a right click. Go down to pointer options, and let's choose pen. And the default's red. If you don't like the color red, then right click again, go down to pointer options, and go down to ink color, and we can choose orange. And then you can go ahead and click and drag and circle, or, you know, we're about forced, dang it, emphasize that. When you're done with this and you want to go ahead and erase it, hit the letter E key on the keyboard and E for erase. Cool. And then you can see that my pen is still up. If I want to get rid of it, just hit the escape key on the keyboard and it disappears. Now if you haven't noticed that when I move my mouse around really fast, it finally brings the pointer up and then I can go ahead and use the pointer to, you know, I guess point out to the audience here. But then if I let go for a few seconds, it disappears. If you want to change that, so either when you move your mouse around really fast, it doesn't pull up, it's always hidden, or that it's always there, and it doesn't hide after a few seconds, then go ahead and give it a right click. I mean, usually when in doubt, I tell my class, if you run into an issue, like during the slideshow presentation, then give it a right click and see if it's in the shortcut menu. Go down to pointer options, go down to arrow options, and there you go, automatic. So it hides after a few seconds if you don't move the mouse, or you can always make it visible, or always hidden. Always visible, check that, and let it go for a few seconds, a minute, ten minutes, it doesn't disappear. Okay, next, if you want to go ahead and use a laser pointer, well, actually, it's not a real laser pointer, it's a virtual laser pointer, then what you want to do is you want to hold down the control key and left click on the mouse. You see that uh, glowing, uh, well, it's not a red dot, it's a red circle. That's the laser pointer, the virtual one. In any case, let go of the mouse and let go of the control key and, and the virtual laser pointer disappears. And then, I don't use these, but down in the lower left-hand corner, you do have the advanced or back arrows, so you can advance to the next slide, go back. You do have your pointer option, click on it, and it's just, well, basically like right-clicking in the middle of your uh, screen here during the slideshow to pointer options, okay? Click off, and then also you have the shortcut there, not for the pointers, but as if you were just right-clicking in the middle of the screen up here, brings up the same shortcut menu. So I find it easier to do that than to come all the way down here into the lower left hand corner and then to move the mouse around to find it it's more distracting than just a right click okay